At the gate of the Institute of High Energy Physics of Chinese Academy of Sciences stands a statue named the Tall of All Matter. The interior of the sculpture is engraved with the poem by Mr. Sundong Li, who had made great efforts to promote the development of high energy physics in China. Today, we're going to talk to the director of the institute, academician Wang Yifang, about Mr. Li's outstanding contributions to science. Academician Wang, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. We've all heard the news of the passing of uh, academician Sundong Li. What was your initial reaction? To the news. It's a very sad news. Indeed, it was also a surprise. I met him、uh, a long time ago when I was a student. Of course, at that time, he did not know me. But afterwards, when I came back to、uh, IHEP, I start to have a lot of interactions with him, and uh, we uh, discussed a lot about the BPC, Diabe, the future Heinzian physics. I learned a lot from him. His contributions to high energy physics is enormous. As the director of the high energy physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, how do you view、uh, Mr. Li's contribution to the high energy physics, especially to the development of this field in China? He is a great scientist in、uh, in the world, and、uh, he is actually one of the founding father of the modern particle physics. And in particular,、uh, in China, the、uh, high energy physics was only established after seventies and eighties, and he was one of the、uh, planner for the development of particle physics in China at that time. And in eighties, he suggested that we should build the Beijing Electron Positron Collider. I would say, without him, either we are not going to have this、uh, collider, or it has to be much delayed. The Beijing Electron-Positron Collider, China's first high-energy accelerator, achieved its first、uh, electron-positron collision in October 1988. And at that time,、uh, the People's Daily spoke highly of this achievement, reporting, "Quote: This is another major breakthrough in the high-tech field after the successful explosion of atomic and hydrogen bombs and the launch of artificial satellites in China." Why does the building of high energy、uh, accelerator has such a huge impact? Particle physics very much depend on actuators, and uh, indeed uh, the design, the construction of such、uh, complicated scientific apparatus is、uh, is very very、uh, complicated, difficult, and uh, the uh, BPC design and construction was actually the One of the most uh, uh, advanced accelerators at that time.、Uh, even it is the first machine we were、uh, going to build. Once、uh, the collision happened in 1988,、uh, Stanford Linear Accelerator, we often call the SLAC, decided to shut down its、uh, accelerator. So it's、uh, already a very advanced, uh, uh, say,、uh, scientific instrumentation at that time. And you can imagine, you start from zero, and build the most advanced accelerator in the world. So this is a, a big jump,、uh, a big leap forward. So that's why we value its success to be as great as the major achievement in science technologies in the 60s and 70s, such as、uh, the the atomic bomb and the hydrogen bomb. So on. of course. They are different. One is for for defense, another one is just for civilian kind of、uh, scientific research. Since you joined the institute, in addition to leading the transformation project of BEPC, you've also taken part in the development of neutrino physics and detectors. What support did Mr. Li offer in building the neutrino detection facility at China's Daya Bay? Well, we told him during one of these annual meetings between the U.S. and China on high energy physics, and he did not、uh, immediately give us the, his support. And he took something like half a year or even one year to study the case, and then、uh, he realized by himself that this is really a great experiment. And then he started to support this experiment by uh, promoting uh, its uh, significance in the U.S. and also in China. 
and talking to the funding agencies in both countries and helped us to establish the international collaboration. So in the end, we successfully secured the funding from both countries and managed to, uh, to, uh, to launch the experiment. So without his help, uh, it would be much harder or probably uh, even possible. As we grieve for academician Song Dao Li, we must also look forward. In your point of view, how can China's high energy physics community to uh, carry forward Mr. Li's scientific insights and spirit? From 70s and 80s, uh, I think Mr. Li's dream and his hope was to uh, have a, a very advanced science, education and technology in China to be as good, as advanced as other countries in the world. And he has been worked for that for almost uh, 40, 50 years. And I think the, uh, to uh, memorize him the best is to advance our study of uh, high engine physics in all the different uh, research directions and try to be as advanced as everybody else in the world or even as a leading figure in the field. I think that's the best way to achieve his goal and his dream. Thank you, Academician Wang. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.